Bob, to start out with what I thought was a good observation defensively. Did you guys play well defensively? It looked like you did before. 25 turnovers. Of course, that, their point guard in the 12 turnovers. Um, well, if you count, which we do, rebounding a part of defense, uh, we sucked. I think we're getting better uh, staying in front of our guy. We just we don't rebound the ball. We just stand around and watch, and that's uh, that's got to get fixed in a hurry. The question is, can the rebounding get fixed? Do you have guys that can do it, or just have to learn fundamentals, or just Well, if they want to play, they'll learn. If they don't want to play, they won't. When you see Taz get hurt or limping, um, how worrisome is that? Apparently, it was just cramps, so it didn't have He's been doing that. Uh -huh. I think he I, he did that uh, in the in the uh, charity game. He does it in practice. He's just uh, he's lost six or seven pounds of practice. So. He's 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 a tough kid. He'll. He'll be back. Good to play a zone, to play against a zone. That's a different zone. Mm -hmm. That's uh, Greg does a great job with it, and <clears throat> it's. I think everybody has a hard time adjusting to it, and they and they they cover a lot of ground. But if we had somebody who could score it close, they probably wouldn't have been able to stay in it as long as they stayed in it. We just don't score the ball close. How many, how many times do you see a guy catch the ball from a foot and airball it? And that's not one guy. It's a whole host of guys. Do you anticipate seeing a lot of zone because you're from their players and what you said you don't have them? I wouldn't think so, Mike. I think they'd, they'd be more inclined to chase those guys than they would play zone. <clears throat> Anything else? Coach, I was asking Taz about like if you felt there was a need for like him and Sean early in the season to like maybe just be more aggressive, get everyone, bring everyone else along for the ride until everyone gets on the same page. And he kind of felt that there was more of a need to try to get everyone on the same page early. And have them be more aggressive. Just kind of want to wait your thoughts are there. Well, I, I think I told you guys this the other day. I was kind of excited about the fact that I thought we would have a bunch of guys we could surround a line with, uh, being Taz, being Sean, uh, being JB. Um, for, for, for that matter, uh, being a big fella, because he, you know, Isaiah can step out there and shoot it. And we could spread the defense then, and then uh, Malik and Keedy could could attack the rim, could, could attack the rim, and if they overhelp, pitch it, and if they don't overhelp, try to finish at the rim. But we haven't made shots. Taz made some big ones for us, and Sean made a couple, but they're not. They have neither one of them are shooting the ball the way they shot the ball early, and JB's not shooting it the way he shot it early. So we got to get if and when we get those all those three guys clicking at the same time, we're going to be really hard to guard. But at this point, they're not doing that, <clears throat> and we and we can't we can't throw it close. You know, we generally speaking have had somebody we could throw it close to. I mean, even if that a lot of times it was was Deshaun, You know, we but we threw we were able to throw it close. You know, with Sags and on and on are the guys that we had. And um, we can't th we we can throw it close. We can't make a shot. How many, how many times you seen uh, guys shoot air balls from a foot? I mean, that's I've seen it in, in Biddy Ball. You know, I used to coach Biddy Ball. I used to see it happen a lot, but not this low. No, no, Biddy Ball. No, no, no. Not in Tuscarawas County, baby. It's ten feet. <laughs> I was going to say that 
As far as getting offensively going, is that really the first step then, getting those three guys, Sean, JB, Taz? I don't, I don't, uh, well, I mean, they, you, they can only shoot so much, right. and they have. It's not. It's not. They're not working at it. They are. They just. And 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 in my. The, the way I'm seeing it, they're not lifting it. They're shooting it flat. How many of them you see hit the rim and bounce over top like a, w a ways? That's shooting it flat. Or banging it off the front of rim. That's shooting it flat. We've got to. We've got to get them to to lift it better. Taz lifts it better off the bounce than he does off a, a catch and shoot. This is a dangerous question, but it takes me inside your head when they get four straight offensive rebounds in the first half. Well, they are almost uncontested. I don't know if I should say it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, They'll be. They'll. We're going. We're going to rebound until we got some black and blue butts tomorrow. How's that? That was a good way of putting it. We're going. We're going to block out and block out and block out and block out tomorrow. Bob is taking a charge in art, a natural skill, and where is Gabe in terms of the guys you've seen doing? Yeah, he's one of the best. He's one of the best. He does a great job getting his feet down. I mean, a terrific job of getting his feet down. Um, that's and that's the key to it. I think it's a hard thing to officiate, and I didn't I didn't understand all of the all the mechanics of it. I was I was irate with the guy who called the block on Gabe, which was a charge, the Gonzaga game a year ago because that would have given us a great chance to beat the number one ranked team in the country in the first game of the year. Well, when our first, it was after uh, wherever we were. Where were we, North Dakota? South Dakota. South Dakota. Anyway, he just does a great job. And, 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 and But what officials have to officiate, they, 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 they start to officiate the drive. And so they're really not looking at the guy over the underneath there. And, and so now they've got to figure out, did the guy get his feet down, you know? Did he have part of his foot in the circle? You know, was he fully out of the circle? Did he step, had the, did the guy start his ascent and he kind of stepped under him? There are a lot of things going on. I think, I think that's one of the hardest plays in basketball to officiate. Oh, I think that you'd, that's more than fair, Bob. He, he brings a different life into it. He brings he, he, he brings great energy, and 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 a great understanding of of how to play. You know, he's not a very good shooter. Uh, he's his ball handling has gotten better. His passing has gotten a little better. But he just brings he brings so much, so much enthusiasm, so much, uh, so much want to. And at the same time, I think he has worked really hard since uh, since the exhibition game on not fouling because he was he had a he had a tendency to reach and you know sometimes you get the ball, sometimes you get an arm. And, and we, we've really tried to work with him on not reaching. Coach, for the most part, I might be wrong on this, but I mean, it was basically just man up on their point guard, right? He and Malik, basically. Yeah, until, until about halfway through the second half. I mean, he, he obviously led the nation in assists last year, but he turns the ball over 13 times. What does that mean? Look, well, either Kitty was really good. Either Kitty was good, or Malik was good. But but they had a lot of help. The second half of the second half. Got that. <laughs> Not bad. Hmm. Bob, between your your guards, those three you mentioned, uh, two I guess. Kobe's pretty big. Seth is pretty big. With your, your length and your speed and your size, you, you can kind of wear on some point guards out this year. The other team point guards. We're going to try. 
the object of defense is to disrupt the offense. And if they can disrupt the offense, then they're going to play more. And there's, you know, there's various ways to do that. They, they did a great job. Oakland did a great job of, of disrupting us offensively. Anything else? Let me ask another question about offense because I'm really just kind of wondering the biggest there. Like last year, you had a point guard who, you know, any given night could get hit 20 or 18 or whatever. I mean, he was probably going to play pretty well. But this year, points are going to come from guys off the ball. Uh, I, I, I'm guessing. What's the difference? Is the, the adjustments there? I mean, are they, are they big? Or are they... I I think. Uh... Uh, Deuces, Deuces probably was probably better off the bounce. Although Taz is good, I mean Taz is Taz is really good. He's he's different than Deuce, but but Deuces primarily came off the bounce, where Shans comes off the catch. Now, I think I think Taz can do a little bit of both, but he's not a point. No, he's more he's, he's 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 more an off guard. But that's not our biggest loss. Our biggest loss is Derek. He could make hard baskets, he could get hard rebounds. You never saw Derek shoot one over the rim like that. I mean he missed some. He missed some but he generally got it back after he missed it. We just don't have anybody in there who can score it close. And it's hard when you can't score it close, man. It's hard. 